Jeff, this is your fourth Grand Tour now. Um, How is this opening week compared to the others that you've done in uh, France? I mean, the, uh, they're all different and they're all challenges. Every day is a challenge for me personally. I mean, it's, uh, I'm not a cyclist and uh, the reason I do this is to get a group of people who are uh, capable of raising the money and the funds to support Charlie Craddock. I've got the QE. He's a leading figure in the fight against blood cancer, and it's uh, yeah, every day is a challenge, and it's it's tough. But um, I always remember when I was a patient and sitting next to other people who were having challenging days, and you know, sadly, the, the fact is that people are still dying from blood cancer, and the quicker we can get the funds in place and uh, and have the ability to get new technology and new science to benefit patients, then we'll see survival rates go up. And from a personal point of view, you know, you've obviously survived leukaemia. Um, how do you mentally sort of go through things like, you know, we had a big tough day on Mount Etna. Yeah. Um, how do you keep yourself going mentally? Well, uh, to be honest, if it, if it wasn't for what I've been through, I would have got off the bike that night because, <laughs> that, that night, because um, I was the last one up and I knew that I was uh, eating into people's recovery time. But it's something that keeps saying that, you know, I'm doing this to to cover every meter and I don't want to get off at any time so when the moments come along I think about the people who inspired me uh, like I say I've, I've met too many far younger and far fitter people than me who've lost it who've lost the battle against blood cancer and uh, the memory of them come back to me I'll try and bury that because it, it is painful to know that they've gone but um, their spirit comes along and helps me gives me a push